Hi guys, welcome to my A to J video. Today I want to talk about the CPU system in this game because most of us has been struggle with this system. So I want to elevate something that um, clear the confusion for the CPU system. Now let us proceed to the game. Are we? Okay, we are in the Ether JSA now. So, what's the situ? Yes. You can find the situ window menu in the character menu, in the modifier menu. Just select your character that you want to uh, yes. configure your situ and select the situ. Here you will find a six slot of, uh, of the available situ. The each sit there's uh, many sets of CTU in this game. Currently, uh, each set will provide either the damage enhancement mod uh, stats or the uh, the resource enhancement stats. Like the one I'm using is the lightning cutter. As you can see, the the sets. FX will be activated once you equip at least three pieces of the certain set. So I using three lightning cutter right now. The so the set effect of the increased thunder damage ten percent and uh, the other effects will be activated once uh, in the battle. So. Let us and and this also the resource it used and this character Sukuyumi is using rage, so I'm using the uh, Caledonian rage set, which is a uh, increased rage mod damage by ten percent and also increase the rage gain charge speed by seven percent stack up to um, thirty five percent. So let us be quick. The, or those of you who doesn't know or not sure about which character use which set of situs, you can simply select the uh, recommended situ button on the bottom side. The game will be recommend this uh, the set of situ for you based on your uh, level and and the economic status like. Uh, on your early game, they will recommend the fa three stars of the sets. The set effects is basically the same. Uh, the difference is the stats. The the initial stat of the city will be different. Like, uh, let's see if I have the four star situs for the example. Um. Ah. Okay. Let's see this uh, Prometheus frames. You can see that the initial stat it provide nine. Ah, uh, initial it compared to it. Okay, the Prometheus frame have nine attacks and sixteen defenses point. And the another the cup I will use compare it to the cup five star cup. Ah, uh, you see that the initial attack point has. 11 and defend have 20 defenses um, once you upgrade it it will gain stat more actually but the five star situs and the higher star situs will provide more stat than the than the little one than the four than the four star than the three stars And so, you might wonder why we uh, we place the situ like this uh, order. Let me change the situ back to to the Cassidonian range. Okay. So the reason that we place the situ like this because it provide it will provide the difference 
uh, skill effects based on the based on the slot that they sit in. As you can see, the city will be uh, separate in the six slot as in this Roman number. The first, uh, I, will, I will call it like the one, the one, the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth, the sixth. So, what is the skill effects? Oh, sorry, I give you this uh, for the reference. Okay, the first, the second. Oh, I meant the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. Right. This one will provide a different skill effect for you once you place it in these order. But what happened when you doesn't play them in this order? Let's see. So, uh, let let's look at my the lightning cutter, the first lightning cutter. You see that the set effect is all the same, three piece, and you gain the set bonus. But when you select the skill effect, you see uh, the fierce assault, the attack, attack uh, effects stats. Normally, the the three stars, three star will have only set effect. As you can see, I selected in the three star, the envoy of Valhalla. And doesn't have the skills effects, but the skill effect will uh, appear on first on the four stars. Hmm? You can see that the skill effect are different because uh, we want to place the damage enhancement situ set on the first, the third, and the fifth slot because it will provide the damage stats. If you place the uh, resources situs on the odd slots, it will only provide defensive stats like HP and defenses. Um, depends on your build, but we, I, and most of my friends prefer the damage stats to be on my DPS character. So. We wanna find and aim for the first, I mean aim for the right slot. And for the resource situ, it's also the same. If you play the resource situ on the even slot, the second, the fourth, and the sixth slot, you will also gain a uh, damage stat on the skill effect stat of it. And so, um, this is the first thing you wanna 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 find the farm for these five star situ on the right slot. Where you can farm it, of course. You can farm it in the operation menu, in the situs menu, in the battle sweep situ. So this game have one of the good thing that I like because when you normally when you farm for the Accessory, in this case, the situs. We will, uh, we will get a random one, of course. But in this game, you can select which set of situ you want to farm right away. And right now, I'm farming the cup barrel of God. For the, uh, is this a resources set situ for the traces modifier user? And so if I want to change and farm a Yomungan set, I can just change it and with no cost. So okay, and once you once you select your desired set, you see that there's a bunch of state. Uh, I recommend you to start spamming your to farming for the five star city on your admin level fourteen. I mean, sorry, 40 on the battle sweep, uh, battle sweep uh, 4 because there will be a chance for a guaranteed 5 star situ drop 
Uh, the PT for the 5 star. Uh, how does it work? It's like, if you, if you, you, when you select the, the node for the challenge, you see that it will say 5 star still currently within 8 scans. It means play 8 time or you pay uh, your stamina cost to like clear multiple of it in one go. Like if, if I select um, one time the balloon, I will I will only uh, spend 25 stamina. Uh, the stamina in this game is called Swix. I will spend 25 Swix and after that, the the situ guarantee within will be changed into seven scans, and the, the the number will change as you progress it. And once you hit the five star, this number will be reset, and you will start again. Okay, that's simple. So now I'm I'm playing a bit uh, of of the so sweet five. Let's uh let's play one time. Okay, I will play three. I will pay three times of the swigs and let's see. Okay, select select with your team your modifier as always. unsheathing. Enemy down. I can get even stronger. Take them down. Okay. Yes, we will have bosses. I mean, one boss. I've had a zero time. I still have confusion in my mind, but victory shall be my god. And after you finish the stage, you see your reward. Mainly to get you a levelation for the situ EXP. And also the situ of your selected sets. The best sweep 5 will have a higher chance to get a 4 star and 5 stars. As you can see, I received one 5 star for the cup barrel of god. But um, sadly, I received them in a wrong slot. You, you see, I received the cup level of third, three. And I will tell you next what can you do with your five star city in the wrong slot. Okay, go to the city. I mean, city. Okay. Um. The oh sorry, the set the uh, cup bearer ah yes ah okay we received this thing earlier so what can we do with the city on the wrong slot simple we can dismantle them but you say you you might spend some swig and gain a five a hard earned five star. Why do you dismantle them, right? Because you will receive the situ core. The situ core uh, I, I use to exchange for the desired five star situ that you want from the shop. You will get five situ core per dis uh, dismantle five star situ. So you will need um. 15 situ cores to be able to exchange to the 5 star that you want. So I will dismantle this. Yep, dismantle. I also received a levelation from it. Once you dismantle and have a situ core, you go to the shop, to the trading zone, to the situ shop, and select the 5 star situ. Ah. Here you will see 
every five star city of every set on here. So we, I wanna farm a five uh, a cup bearer. Right now, I only missing one of the cup bearer. Uh, okay, I only missing the fourth cup bearer. So if I receive more five star situ and have a total of 15 situ core i can just came here and purchase the the situ position offset that i want yep it's, it's that easy but i recommend you to farm for the five star once you hit level of all these admin level because you will unlock the battle sweep force and if you want to farm after you receive a unlock the battle sweep 5 that's all on you but the enemy on uh, this level I believe that mean level 51 and 52 onward will be much harder to to deal with as you can as you may cl already clear your st hard story mode and starting to progress on your challenges mode mm, okay and so lastly yeah. about your situ okay uh, I will select okay this one ah you can upgrade your situs you just select your city that you want to upgrade and uh, cultivate. Ah, also the city, the five star city will have a max max level of forty. You will use a city's limit break material, which you can farm it from the extreme extraction challenge mode and uh, deconst uh, deconstruct the higher grade um, material to receive a lower one or fusion fusion the lower one into the higher one ah, this is about upgrade once you hit the upgrade uh, I mean when you hit the enhance to the max level you can hit the remit blade and spend the resource to increase the max level of the, your situs so you wanna find the situ that uh, Mesh your sets and slot before attempting to to upgrade it because it will it will cost a lot of resources and it can waste your resource with your switch if you doesn't upgrade if the right thing that you want. So after I'm upgrade, we will have an enhanced. I mean, sorry, enchanted. The enchanted effect of the deal is like the, the skill effect that you see on the details. The skill effects. Normally, we will see the skill effect on the 4 star city onward and 5 star. The 5 star city will have uh, the double stat on each slot. Initially, it will came with a only one slot. And you can increase the other slot by level up them to level 30 you increase the second slot and once you unlock the level 40 you receive the uh, the first slot and so how do you upgrade it uh, as you can see you will gain a you will receive a module that will uh, that will spawn the enhance the enchant uh, stats on it it will have came in three tiers actually the three stars module four star module and five star module how does it work right simply you select your module in this case i will try to select the uh, some of the three star one and some of the five star one for you so you select your module and hit enhance enchant it will spawn the steps as you can see i just spawn the dodge effect cooldown from 
their three star enhanced enchant module. The three star will the three star and four star enchant module will have only one step of the slot. So if I hit enchant again, okay, it is spawn dodge energy recovery speed. If you want to select one of these, you just place your select button and it will replace your current um, current effect of, of the slot. If you don't want that, you can simply place abandon. You can keep the previous one that you didn't abandon within the slot or the future use. Or, but this is for the three star one. But the five star module will have. That's right. You have two steps in the one slot. Yeah. And this thing is kinda rare. You can oh I not mean rare, but how to farm how to find this thing? Max. You can farm it via the operation, uh the situ and select your joint training. You may you may uh, unlock the joint training mode once you unlock the guild system. The joint training mode will be uh, will randomly select the mission for you. There's a great mission grade for that, and B and A and I believe A or C or D. I haven't haven't seen any, but how does it work? Is simply the higher grade, the lower the sweep cost for the for the stage. Like, and once you clear one stage, it will randomly spawn new stage, and randomly with then randomly a grade on it. Like if I play this one, the port, or you can also play it with a multiple time by paying more swigs right you can also manually uh, refresh it two times for free each day after that you need uh, the, to use your shifted stars for it or to refresh I will refresh one time just to show you ah um, not doesn't have a, any luck and I still have a, a grade A stage but you, as you can see the switch, uh, the shifted star refresh cost will increasing each time you uh, each time you refresh it so uh, just play your rank A or you might wanna refresh until I mean refresh with the free refresher until you found the S grade and once you found the S grade, just triple your loot or quadruple your loot if you have if you unlock the stage. Uh, you can double or triple your loot once your admin level hit a certain level. You might cannot double your uh, triple your loot yet, but just wait and increase your admin EXP. Yes. And so, finally, about the situ, is the gen. Uh, gen zone modifier. The gen, what is a gen zone modifier? You see that on my, on my situ and has the situ stat increase twenty percent when you buy a Shino modifier. The gen zone is a, the origin, origin. I mean the origin of the modifier. Like, the Sukuyomi has a Sakura symbol, the Shino. So my CTU, if equipped by a Shino modifier, which the Shinri is a Shio, it will have increased 20% small stats on it. Uh, the main stat of the CTU. Okay. So after that, how you can get these? You select this CTU and select your reconstruct. You see this uh, Tenso reconstructor. You also can acquire it from the hazard zone cleaning and buy it from the supplies. So, how did you do it? Right, you select your CTU, select the reconstruct, and hit reconstruct. 
you pay 1,000 Iron Sop coin, and it will randomly spawn the Gen Stone bonus for you. I play this. Ah, you see, my current one is Chino, and my new one is a Altruism. You can choose to retain your old one and or select to receive the new one. In this case, I will select my old one because Shinri is uh, already a Shio modifier. Hmm. Okay. That's may. That's may cover all it up. Also, I wanna recap. Uh, a quick recap. So, the CTU will will uh have a recommend CTU on each character. The game will recommend that, but you can use the other set too. But this one might be good for a new player who have low uh, budget and time. So, the city you have many tier, the 3 star, 4 star and 5 star. Try to uh, get 4 or 5 star city of the, of the corresponding set that it recommend first before upgrading it. Uh, you better farm your city after the admin level 40 onward and uh, try to find the city on the right slot because it will provide you with a different set effects yeah mostly you will need the attack uh, attack steps for that on the right slot and you can also upgrade your city the cultivate menu you can enhance it it have a additional skill effects you can reconstruct it for the uh, additional increase that when you keep it by with a right gen zone modifier so i think we have covered it for this video it's a bit long but <laughs> I believe it uh, covered all necessary thing you have to know about the city. And so, I think it's time for me to go. Hope you find this video helpful. So, see you again. Peace.